everyone, this is Fatma Karoma with Celebrity Health Talk. We're here with Sahih Tijan Kamara. He is the IFPA Pro Professional Bodybuilder. He is the first professional bodybuilder from Sierra Leone. Hi, Tijan. Hi, how are you? So why don't you tell us about yourself? Your name is Sahih Tijan Kamara. Correct. Why don't you tell us about yourself and what you do as a bodybuilder? I have been involved with bodybuilding for over 20 years and I have competed for 15. I started in Sierra Leone okay. and I've been fortunate to um, compete in over 71 shows okay. in, in the United States and other parts of the world. Okay. And um, I've had the opportunity of meeting the best in the, and the brightest in the business okay. and um, I'm fortunate to do it. Okay. So you started off um, as a bodybuilder in Sierra Leone, like what inspired you? I mean, what made you say this is what I want to do? When I was five years old, I had uh, my mom um, got me a t-shirt. Happy Mother's Day, by the way, to all the moms out there. And um, my mom bought me this t-shirt of the Incredible Hulk. And I told her, I said, when I grew up, I want to be like that guy. And she was like, why do you want to be like this guy? I said, um, I said, I don't know. I said, but that's what I want to be like. And um, she was like, with all those muscles and all this stuff. I said, yeah, I said, that's something I'm looking forward to. And when I turned 14, I followed my passion and I never stopped since. Okay, so you were bodybuilder at the age of 14. Um, I was actually lifting weights at the age of 14. And um, right. I just got into it and never stopped. Okay, so when you came to the United States, um, what how did you get into the com competing um, as a bodybuilder basically like um since i started doing this in sierra leone when i came to the united states i tried getting in touch with gyms and trying to um see but people saw certain things in me that um that they asked me um why can't you compete why they asked me all these questions and that's when i decided that i need to um go about finding um, more about this and following my dreams. Okay, so what, what is the first company, competition that you competed in? Yes, I did a competition in Sierra Leone, but um, that was not a competition per se. Okay. It was not structured as a competition, it was just that kind of a thing. But um, I actually did one in Philadelphia um, that, was, that I actually ended up coming first. <laughs> And second overall in in the in the light heavyweight class, but um that was pretty much the first one that got me in there. Okay, so you've been a bodybuilding for pretty much uh, 15 years, and you you've done it nationally and internationally. Correct. So what countries have you been uh, to internationally and yes. nationally? Basically, I've gone extensively. Um, all around the United States, okay. like I competed in Michigan, I competed in um, New Jersey, New York, in um, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and all these other places, and I've competed in England, I've competed in France, and Italy, to name a few, and um, that's it. So what are, you, what are your goals for the future? I mean, where do you see yourself? You know, as you age, I know it's going to be difficult, you know, the aging process, so it's difficult for us to continue some of the activities we've done at a younger age. So, you know, what do you see yourself um, doing um, in the future a couple of years from now or transitioning out of bodybuilding? What do you see yourself doing? Basically, um, I'm in school for physical therapy okay. right now, but um, and I own a gym mm. but at the same time um, I'm not putting an age limit on bodybuilding because yeah. um, I want to be the best 60 year old on stage someday okay. and apart from that I want to be um, involved in bodybuilding in other areas like hosting shows okay. and taking bodybuilding especially to Africa per se right. in which like we need to um, do That'd something nice. there yes we need to do something there mm. in the sense that um, promote the sport because you know I feel like they're excluded from the main from the main uh, um, 
world of bodybuilding. That's true. So do I'm, you know of any competitions going on in Sierra Leone? Anything? Have anything? No, work? not to my knowledge. And mm-hmm. it's that's something I'm actually interested in, and um, that's something I will have to discuss more mm-hmm. in another day because I'm really looking forward to that, and because there are guys out there who have the ability as I had when I was younger, but they don't have the opportunity. And I'm looking forward to reaching those um, individuals and giving them the same opportunity that I had. Is there a a section in the Olympics for bodybuilding? Unfortunately, no. Yes, if there was, I would have been really happy and proud to represent my country. This is Fatma Takaroma with Celebrity Health Talk. Are you thinking of traveling to Africa or anywhere in the world? Contact Africa Worldwide Travel for your travel needs. You can contact them at 718-301-6802 or toll free at 866-283-8901. They will take care of all your travel needs. So what advice would you give to people that are interested in bodybuilding and how can they start, how can they get into it? First of all, you got to have a passion for it. If you have a passion for it, that's one way you can get into bodybuilding mm-hmm. because it's not something you can just do today and then grow tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And on and, and the other note, you have to stay away from taking steroids because okay. it's been plagued, um, the sport has been plagued with enhancement mm-hmm. and um People take steroids. People take all these things. I mean, I, you, I would ne- never, I would never have to call on someone that this person does that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, it's been plagued with so many stuff people take, and mm-hmm. it has um, tarnished the reputation of the sport in a very okay. big way. Mm-hmm. So, um, if you want to get into bodybuilding, stay natural, work hard, train hard, okay. and it helps you in a whole lot more ways than one. Okay. What are some diet tips that you can give um, to your fans, the audience, or people interested in bodybuilding? Like, what type of diet do they have to have? Basically, everybody um, has a different body type. Okay. Um, for instance, I have my body type is an ectomesomorph, mm-hmm. which is um, I have the ability to get big but still lean at the same time. Mm-hmm. And um, so I maintain a certain diet, mm-hmm. but at the same t- uh, on the other hand, um, just to maintain a, um, a diet of high protein, mm-hmm. medium to low, good carbs, okay. having more brown rice instead of white rice, mm-hmm. having wheat bread instead of white bread okay. because of the glycemic index. Some have high glycemic index and the other, like white rice have high glycemic index yeah. and brown rice have a low glycemic index. Mm-hmm. So you can... Um, Basically, maintain a high protein, mm-hmm. medium to low, good carbs, okay. and have enough vegetables, have some amount of unsaturated fat, okay. like olive oil, mm-hmm. peanuts, and the rest, mm-hmm. and to ma- drink more water. Okay, okay. So basically, the diet that you think that's good for, it's really a healthy diet, having a balanced diet, exactly. you know, and um, more proteins, less carb, maybe Correct. focus on brown rice that are white. Exactly. Small amount of saturated fats. Exactly. And uh, low stove sodium. Correct. And then also drinks pl- plenty of fuel, fluids. Definitely. So not even for a bodybuilder, but you, you would say just any person want to maintain a healthy diet. Healthy diet, yes. Okay. okay. And with bodybuilders, uh, you can tweak your sodium here and there. You can eat a certain way. You can um, do, um, like you can control your um, water, water moderation over time okay. just to lean out completely and stuff like that but um, for the general public basically okay. you just have to maintain a healthy diet okay. but there's nothing special that you do like enter into a competition you don't kind of get more stricter strict yes definitely strict uh, definitely for competition reasons okay. like i i have to implement certain stra- strategies mm-hmm. that um, to help me win the show, okay. I would have to do more cardio. I do up to two hours of cardio a day. Okay. Yes, for five days a week, uh-huh. and um, I would have to implement other strategies in terms of my protein intake and my carbs. I I lower my carbs. Uh-huh. I don't cut it out completely, but I lower uh-huh. it down to thirty per thirty percent, and I um, lower my water intake and I. Uh-huh 
slow down my sodium at the same time. Okay. So basically, that's the science in it because bodybuilding is an art and a science. Okay, okay. And also with the exercise, you know, kind of exercise every day also as a bodybuilder. Uh, I, I train five times a week normally and other times I train four times twice a day. Okay. You know, if you have the time. All right. So, um, you know, there's like, I know Michelle Obama and there's a big push for healthy eating, health and wellness. W any tips that you would give or what? Because I know that you're, uh, you're a trainer, uh, you're into health and fitness, you have a gym. So you teach those types of classes. Yes. So any uh, type of tips that you would give to the public? Basically, eat smaller meals on a regular basis, drink more water, mm -hmm. try to have a, maintain a balanced diet, have more fruits, cut the sweets out, yeah. and um, eat more vegetables, fruits, eat smaller meals on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and don't eat too late. Okay. How about uh, cereal onions, where the main staple diet is plenty of starch? like rice or and then I mean I know uh, we do do a lot of um, green leafy vegetables but then sometimes my head we like the oil the palm oil or the starches any thing that suggestions you would give for people who uh, like to eat the African diet or Sierra Leone you know African diet in general well um, the African di diet basically is predominantly um, high sodium which is one thing we have to watch for because um, the rate of hypertension is high the statistics prove that um, most people um, end up having di um, high blood pressure and um, eventually die because of the because of the high sodium content that we have in our in our food so we have to make sure that we lower your sodium slow down on the salt mm -hmm. and um on the other hand drink more water mm -hmm. because the more the water the more water you drink mm -hmm. the lower it's um the lower the sodium okay. in your system okay. that's one thing and secondly instead of um, because of the oily stuff avoid having too much palm oil Okay. You can have olive oil instead of palm oil because olive oil helps lower your LDL, which is your bad cholesterol, mm -hmm. and help um, lower your triglycerides. Okay. And on the other hand, um, it's um, try to have like peanuts, walnuts. Okay. If you can have pistachios, you can have that. Other nuts uh, because they're good for the heart. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much, um, Mr. Sahid Tijan Kamara. Uh, he is the first professional bodybuilder from Sierra Leone. Thank you so much for giving us a lot of your advice today on bodybuilding and health and wellness. Uh, he's on Celebrity Health Talk, and we're at Front Page Film Studio. If you want more information, please go to African Radio Salon and also SL Fun TV. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you very much.